Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a Goldwing video. This was actually a request by a, um, a YouTube member. They wanted um, to see how you change spark plugs on a GL1500. Alright, so I'm going to show you how you can change your spark plugs here on your Goldwing. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is remove these two covers. And you'll see why later, but we need to remove them. So come down here. I'm going to try to do this with one hand it. Oh, yes. And when you're taking these off, you need to be very careful. This plastic is old and it will break in Britter. So you just need to. Ah, there we go. Got to watch out for those little tabs there. As you can see, this one and these two. Make sure you be easy not to break them. All right. Now that, that one's off, let's get this one. This one should come off fairly simple. Ah, there we go. All right, now we got the one spark plug, but we need to get to the rest of them. All right, so this is what we're going to do here. This little wing vent right here has got to come off. Now, let me get my screwdriver here. Okay. Now, usually there's a cover right here, but you can see on mine it's missing, and most of them, they're usually missing. But if you do have a cover here, it's just simply pried open. It pops right off, and you'll know which screw here goes here because this one's a special screw oh well concentrate here doing everything one-handed two two okay let's see. Uh, all right let me pause this while i get this off oh okay got the screw off i want to show it to you but this is a special one this is this is what goes there it is what allows the other little clip plastic clip if you have it that snaps on so those are important to put these back in the right spot. So now that that is done, we will drop our bolt in the little bin there so we don't lose it. And this wing vent here will just snap right off. And you can see the little tabs there. And I'll show you guys how to put this back together because it's pretty important how to put this back together correctly. Now, we need to move this little piece cover right here. Now this piece just pops out. You can see me popping it out and just slide her back nothing to it real easy okay now we're gonna move this over and i'm gonna move up to the front okay now we got to take this off and you can see the little covers here your bike may not have this this is an extra add-on piece you can get this from amazon it's 70 bucks it's a lot of money but I think it makes the bike look a lot better, especially when mine has a lot of chrome on it. Just gives it a good accent in the plain Jane cover. If you don't have the cover, you should just have three screws that you just pull right out. Okay, so we gotta pop these covers off. And what I'm gonna use is this um, scribe right here. Now, I'll have to do this with two hands, but I'll explain here. When you take these off, you just gotta gently pop them out. Now these have been used, been off and off about three or four times, so they're not as new, but when they're new, they will pop off and I actually had one not too long ago. If you were mess taking them off, they will shoot out about 10, 20 feet and you don't have to go find it and pray that your cat doesn't take off with it. Ugh. But um, you need to, when you take these off, put a hand here or something so that if it does pop off that you can catch it so it won't go far. And all you gotta do is just pry them out and then there'll be three screws. I'll show you guys once I get the covers off. So let me get those off and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, now that we got the little covers off, you can see in there that there's a little, little. It looks like it. It looks like an Allen, but it's not. It's a wide blade flathead, so you need a wide blade. This one will do it the job, and just get in there and just loosen them all up. And once you loosen them all up, it should just come. Well, there's still a little bit more work to do, but it this part will come right off. So let me get this going here. Okay, just about got her off. Let's get this last one. And this cover will just come right off. In fact, I think I could just pull it right off. Yep, there it comes. Try not to lose the screw. I'll put the others in the bucket there so we won't lose them. All right, then this light right here just comes right out. You can see it just dangles, and we can leave it dangling. All right, now we can't quite take this off yet. All right, there's one more piece that's holding it on. And we gotta take off this, um, this cover right here now if you notice mine are screwed on and i'll explain that here in a little bit for you people that don't have them screwed on you should be able just to pull the cover and it just pop off it's got look the one little tits with the rubber on it what happened on mine 
And this is what you might want to do because this is very important. This is a very hard piece, hard piece to find if you ever lose it. All right, one of my tits is broken on here. So we decided that we would uh, put little screws in here on both sides to keep the cover. You can, yeah, you can see it right there on both sides to keep the cover on because these things are hard to find if you ever lose them. I'm actually lucky this one was still attached and everything. So what I did was I just drilled some holes in here and then just took a little sheet metal screw and just kind of screwed it in a little bit. So that way it would be on and still easy to get on and off. But for, for those that have perfect ones or not or rather are in good shape, they should just pop right off. You need it so you can get this thing it's it, out of here. It's got a little tit in here that goes down and holds it in place. And you need this out of the way to get it moved out and everything. All right, so let me get this cover off. And then we'll get this whole side panel off. Okay, now that I got the cover free, or at least unscrewed from my thing, let's see if I can get it to pop open. Yeah, there it comes. Yeah, it popped open here. Just gotta get it. Gotta be. Yep, it's gonna start coming out. Oh, there we go. That tit is on there. That, I guess no wonder why it never fell off. There it goes. You gotta be a little bit careful, but you need a little bit of finesse to get these things off. Okay, now the vet's off. This will come right out, and then just leave it hanging like that, and then voila. We'd gotten to our spark plugs right there and everything real easy. So let's go ahead and take one out. Now, oh. now I'm taking this out. I'll explain that when you're replacing spark plugs, I, I would recommend using NGKs. They are the, I think one of the best plugs and that's what they really recommend for these motorcycles. Oh. In case you're wondering, this is a three-quarter inch socket. It is not a spark plug socket, so I need to be very careful not to break the ceramic. If you got a spark plug socket, it's the one with the little cushion inside that you go in and wrap around the ceramic. So I have to be very careful with it here. There we go. Get my ratchet. I put these in about 3,000 miles ago. So let me break this free. I need both hands here. Okay, now that we got that out, let's pull her out. Now right, let's put that down. Pull that out. Oh yeah, look at that. All right. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, I had to get clear some memory space on my phone here so we can keep rolling. All right. Now I want to pull out the NGK plug here to show you the number here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it if I can get it on there. Probably too much light. But it's a um, DPR7EA9. And that's what I recommend putting in these um, gold wings here. And you can see this one is done very good shape. It's only been in there for a couple thousand miles, so it looks very good. So now we're going to put this bad boy together. I'm going to show you how to put it back together. Because it's very important to put it back together correctly. Because I know these plastics look can be intimidating and trying to put them back in and not knowing all the little tricks and trades. And... And you can see why half of them get broken. You can see this whoever owned this didn't know what they were doing, taking all this stuff off in. They broke a lot of plastic. So to keep from breaking plastic, because this stuff's old and hard to replace and everything. So I will show you guys how to do that. So let me get the spark plug back in. I'm assuming everybody knows how to put spark plugs back in, so I don't need to show that. So we'll start putting it back together and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, we got all the plugs in. So let's come over here and the first thing we're going to do is put this cover back on. This one right here. Alrighty and I want to show you guys something. You see that little tit right there? That's going to go in that hole right there. And you'd be surprised how many people don't ever catch that or figure it out. You can see why this one's a little broke out a little bit. But it goes right in there and it should be simple to set. So let's get her set in there. Make sure this goes up back on top. Because it needs to go in there for the little cover. So when you put it in there, don't cram it in there. So let me get this in there. i got to use both hands. But I'll show you roughly how it goes in there. Okay, i got it setting just barely in there so I can show you. All right, because sometimes you might have to move this bottom cover so it actually... There it goes. It snapped in. All right. And make sure everything else is going, going, yep, going in there just right. Yeah. We can see that it's all lining up. That's good. 
So now we can put our little fancy trim, high dollar trim cover on there. Okay, I'm about to put this cover on, and the little trick I always do is I always go ahead and put all three, as you can see, I got all three bolts in there. I'm gonna put the light, well, if it doesn't fall out, well, dang it. Anyway, you put the light on next, and then you just put it in there and start, try to start some of the screws, and then once you get them started, it's home free from there. So let me get this on real fast. Okay, we got this back on. Oh good, now for the little covers. Now when you tighten these, just tighten them tight. Don't get too carried away or you could break this plastic. It's just like anything else. Alright, so these little covers, let me see if I can get them out here. Yeah, get one. Oh, oh. Got one. Alright, I want to show it to you close up. Alright, these are little snap-ons. These little things right here, little covers. Now they will you can lose these real easy and when they're brand new they are pretty hard to get in here i won't lie it it took a little bit of effort now that they're used they, they get in a little bit easier and eventually you'll be able to push them in with your fingers which i don't think i can do that yet. not very good no nope. it's still a little tight which is good it means you won't lose them so what i use you may need to use that hammer to begin with to put them in because sometimes they're that tight but what I'll do I'll set the cover in there and I'll just hold the punch and I'll just push in the center and I'll pop them in so I'm gonna do that real fast unfortunately I gotta have both hands can't operate the camera I don't have a cameraman yet so let me do this and then we'll move on to the next step all right we got all the covers back on and they look pretty spiffy let me tell you all right, next thing, we need to put this little piece back on real easy. So let's go get it. Come over here. Yep, yep. There we go. All right, now how to know which side. Hang on, I gotta move my little scoot over here. Now this only goes on one way. Pretty easy to remember. All right, so we may need to move this out of our way. We're gonna come up here. All right, well actually we just need to come in here and kind of push it in a little bit. And just, oh, here, let me show you wasn't paying attention there on the camera take it and just push it you might have to push it underneath there and the rest of it will just kind of go in the place and there it is it just slips on it slips on nothing to it now let's put the wing vent back on little wing side wing vent here okay now you see these little tab tits here you got some there we got some there they need to go into the right place all right otherwise you'll break them off and then there'll be no bueno all right, I want you to see there's a hole right here. And then let me get this wing vent out of the way. And a little section there, right there for this stuff. So we'll slip that one in. And then this one should just go right in. That yeah, might have been it. There we go. Okay, I lied. It goes, it doesn't go in that hole. Well, one, this side does. Okay, so yeah, it does. And then voila pops right in it's all nice everything looks good all right let's come back over here all right now we're gonna put this screw back in so let me get that screw back in okay we got that screw on we're almost done let's put these two covers back on all right let's so let's find them over there ah oh, there they are right over here all right now this one's got a couple of a tits on it. Well, this one's been broken off, but on yours, you will have a tit here. Mine's broken off, and it will go. Let me see if I can get a. You can see it right there, right there, and then there's another one. Just about. Hang on. Let me zoom out here a little bit. I might not be. Let's see where can I. It is right there. You can't quite see it. You might be able. To, there you go. You might be able to see the rubber, and that's where this bottom one here goes right here and then you got one one little tit and that will go right there okay and it's very important to slide these these let me zoom out here these tits in first then push it in right there so let's do that now i don't have to worry about the top because it's broken but i do need to try to get the bottom one in so that it will not fall out and it never fails. Need both hands. Oh wait. Oh oh. And then you'll see it line up, and then 
Bam, and then you can just mess with it. Make sure it's not gonna pop out, it's in place. Well, about that, got that one in one hand. Yeah. All right, next piece. Okay, this one's got two, three tits here. This one right here, and in case you haven't noticed, this is a very special screw. You can take this out with a 10 millimeter if you ever need to, and everything. If you need to take this cover off, which I'm glad we didn't have to, less the better in my book if for doing this job. You can take this off and it screws back in. Although, I, look, I'm gonna give a little say about these plastics. You may have to push and move these plastics up, down. You know, they're a little, they're, you know, they're old, they're out of shape, you know, a little bit warped out of, sh out of shape. So you might have to kind of push and pry and just kind of get it the wing back into the right place because it doesn't always go back together smoothly. <laughs> All right, so let's put this cover on. Here should be no big deal. This part goes underneath the seat here. I say it's no big deal, but I'm gonna sit here and struggle with one hand. Oh, got two in, and then, ah, oh, look at that, all in. Now I got one, one last piece here, and that's that front cover. Now, if you're doing the other side, leave that cover off until you're finished. Now you can leave all this stuff off and put it back together at one time, or if you wanna take one side, change plugs, Put one side of it together, that's fine. It doesn't matter. And the other side is just the complete same. No different. It's all the same. We're doing the same plugs and everything. So we're going to put this last cover back on because um, it's got some tits on there too, as you can see on the bottom here. Uh, right there, three of them. They need to line up. And normally, it would just push right in, but as you can see, mine is broken over here. And now, in case you're wondering what all this white stuff is, it's um <laughs> this bike before i owned it caught apparently it caught on fire and they choose a fire extinguisher because this stuff was all over my motorcycle man let me tell you it was hardy and this is some of the residue that's left over from them. they never cleaned it after the fire extinguisher they just left it and boy it ruined a lot of stuff once they didn't since they didn't clean it out so it took a lot to get this bike running but anyway enough of that Let's put this last piece back on. Like I said, there's my two holes. Look professional, but I drill. We drill those, and we use little screws to go in there. Little sheet metal screws, uh, like you can see in there. Just those two screws, and nothing to it. That way, so if you do have this problem, that may be one fix you want to do for right now until you can find another cover and everything. It doesn't hurt. It's not really noticeable. And because these plastics are expensive. So let's go ahead and get this piece on. Okay, now let me show you where these grooves here. Right there. That's where the middle one goes. Right in there. And then these end ones slip in behind here. On the same thing on the other side here. And then it just push. Let me zoom out. Ah, and it just pushes up. Now too, be watch out for these. They should go... They should go in behind that. So let me get this on and we'll snap her in place. Okay, now we got that back on and we are finished. Now this has been pretty simple, nothing too hard. It's just knowing how to take the plastics off and putting them back together correctly without breaking or cracking them. So hopefully this video has been very informative. Okay guys, that's gonna do it today. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. If I wasn't clear about something, please let me know. So if I can help you out and get you guys moving along here. All right. If this video was a big help to you, please give it a big thumbs up and everything and share it. Share this video. Yes, please share this video with your friends. All right. And please follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I don't have a Facebook yet, but we're working on it, getting a Facebook page created. But you can go to my YouTube channel and see all the places where I'm at, and please follow me. And also subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this and you would like to see any other videos. Also, you know, feel free to leave comments of quick request videos. I tend to try to do those as much as possible if, if I can. So, guys, I'm going to end on that note there. Until next time, later.